Hi guys, uh, this is going to be a new uh, format to my Funko Pop videos. Uh, so this is going to be the first episode of a new show that I'll do every month called The Funko Life. And the idea is that to put all the different types of Funko videos together, i.e. hauls, hunts, uh, top 10s, top 5s, whatever, you know, ratings of Pops, uh, and like Funko News, anything, anything Funko related, will be uh, in a episode of uh, the Funko Life at least once a month, maybe a couple of times a month, as well as all the other videos I do. Uh, so this is the first episode, and this is the haul that I picked up on the hunt to Lakeside. You would have seen the video previously uh, in uh, towards the end of August. And yeah, stick with the video. It will start off, um, and you might think, what is this? Uh, the idea is that the, the, I want to make my Funko Pop videos a little bit more interesting and different. And there's going to be a little bit of a story and a skit to it as well. Uh, so when it starts, this is a Funko Pop video, but it just takes a bit of time to get into. So please stick with it. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, let's get into the first episode of The Funko Life. <laughs> about this gateway to other worlds is true. But I feel like I'll be on this quest forever. Now, where is it saying the map? Well, it just should be just round this corner. Oh, I see an X. This could be it. The stories speak of a gateway hidden that leads to other worlds. There's stories of one such world filled with treasure called Funko Pops. I must discover this gateway and find my way to this world. I want this treasure. Right, let me scale this cliff and dig from the top. Right, let's get digging. Right, this looks promising. This is some of that strange black rock that I've heard about that portals are made of. thing and what is this? Is it some sort of gateway? How do I switch it on? How do I get this to go on? Well just wait. I've been here all day. Right, let's go to sleep. I'll see if anything happens in the morning. What's this? The ground shaking. Whoa! What's, what's happening? Or the series 9000 is going what to is turn this? into mush. Relaxed enough? <laughs> of a window to other worlds. Do it! Stop right there, he man. What on earth is going on? What's up, everyone? Who are these uh, guys? Today is another Funko Pop haul video, and I went on a little Funko Pop hunt without this guy. So I have a surprise for him that I picked up on the hunt. Are you ready to see what it is? Yeah, yeah. Let's get straight to the video. What's going on everyone? Today, as I said, is another Funko Pop haul video and mm. I'm going to be showing you what I picked up on my latest hunt in Lakeside in Thurrock, Essex. And uh, yeah, I'll put this in a box to hide from you. So do you know what this is? No idea. Okay, well I picked up for you whilst I was out in Lakeside. Would you like to do the honours? Yes. Okay. What is in the box? Oh, I see you what it is already. <gasps> I love it! <laughs> Show everyone. So what is it, buddy? A creeper. From the game Minecraft. We are, I also saw the skill 
skeleton. You've seen the skeleton one, have you? Mm -hmm. So which pops? Boot sale. So which pops in this set have you got already? I've got the creeper. Yeah. Which is the one here. Yeah. And I've also got the ocelot. Yeah. And the tamed one. So you've got the chase ocelot as well, haven't you? So they're the ones on the back. So they're the other pops you can get. You can get Steve, Alex, ocelot, creeper, and skeleton. Ryden's I'm... got the ocelot and the chase version, which is a tuxedo cat. Now um, he's got a creeper. I, but I, oh, I've also saw the skeleton too. You've seen the skeleton too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right, should we take him out of the box so you can have a look at him? Yep. There you go. Look <laughs> head. How's he look? Boom. So what do they what do creepers tend to do, buddy? I just showed them. Right, buddy, so there's the creeper. Now do you think Funko Pop creepers blow up as well? Should we see? Yeah. I don't know. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. They do blow up. Lucky we've got another one. Let's have a look at. So there is the creeper. Looks really cool. Okay, so there's the creeper. Looks really cool. So that is, I like this Minecraft pop, so how square they are and that. They, they look really cool, don't they, bud? Yeah. Yeah, so that is awesome. All cubes. All cubes, yes. So that's awesome. Right, now, bud, I'm going to show the other two pops that I picked up. <coughs> First one is a, is a pop from a cartoon that Daddy really likes. Rick and Morty. From Rick and Morty, yep. Yeah. And do you want to tell you what the name of this character is? Are you ready for it? I don't know. Cornvelius Daniel. <laughs> there he is. Cornvelius Daniel. He's from an episode uh, where he basically is an alien and they've captured Rick and they've got him in this sort of like computerized version of the world to trick him because they want to get all his scientific secrets out of his brain, buddy. And in this scene, Rick tells him about a limited edition Szechuan dipping sauce that McDonald's did years ago for the release of Mulan. And then this guy basically tries it and absolutely loves it. So hence the way he's got the Szechuan dipping sauce all around his mouth. Oh, wow, this sauce is f***ing amazing. You said it was promoting a movie? And it's all splashed up on the box, which is pretty cool. Like, it's a nice touch. See that? It's got all these, got this up. Dip, dip. All up the box. Right, let's get him out of the box and Ryder can check the paintwork. Right, buddy, do you want to check the paintwork of Cornvelius Daniel? Mm. What do you think of his name? Weird. Yeah. Dip, dip, it's weird. I like his. Do you know what that little box is? What? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? Yes. Mm. Where did he get this from? What, that on his face? Yeah. That's all the dip dip that he's got around his face, the Szechuan dipping sauce, because he loves it so much he scoffed it all, like, it's gone all over his face. It's pretty much how you look after you've had dinner. <laughs> sauce all around your face. So there he is, Cornvelius Daniel. This is a really cool looking pop, I like this one. Uh, one of my favourite episodes from season three of Rick and Morty, uh, the first episode in fact. Um, the whole thing with the Szechuan dipping sauce. The pop looks really like the character. He's got all the sauce around his face, on his fingers there. He's got his little pot of nut chicken nuggets. So that is a really cool pop. I'm really happy to have it. Oh, right. So next pop. Uh, oh, where's my where's my partner in crime gone? Oh, well, I'll carry on without him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Messing around again. Right, so the last pop, Bryden, is from Daddy's favourite cartoon ever. What's my favourite cartoon, buddy? Masters of the Universe. Ah, and who's the hero in that cartoon? Do you remember? No. Yeah, it's the power. Uh, He-Man. He-Man, that's it. Right. So this pop is one that I needed for the set. I hadn't got it yet. And it's uh, a villain. She's, she's an evil, evil lady. And mm -hmm. that is in the name, because her name is Evil Lynn. Mm. And she's not very nice, bud. She works for Skeletor. And there is the pop. Already have a skirtle. That is the second wave. So from the first original wave, I had He-Man, Skeletor, Spycor, and Hordak. From this set, I had Beast Man, but the flocked work version. And I've got Orko and now Evil Lynn. So I just need a couple more for that set. Right, let's get her out of the box and you can inspect the paintwork for me. Right, how's the paintwork on this one? Not good. Not good? What's wrong with it? 
Oh, the pain. Oh, there's a scuff on there. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not the end of the world. That's all right. What do you think of the design of her? Evil. Evil. Her design is evil, yep. She looks quite like the character from the cartoon. Yeah, it's a nice looking pop, that one. Quite chuffed with that. Her cape there. Nice bit of movement on the cape. So, yeah, that's evil in. So, they're the Funko Pops I picked up on my hunt riding. Right. Are you happy with yours? Yeah. What did you think of mine? Great. What was the best pop that we showed in this video? Boom! The creeper. I shouldn't be surprised with that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed our little haul boom, video. Boom, 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 Lots of explosions. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, as always, what do we want them to do, Ryden? What do we want them to do, buddy? Like. Like. Uh, leave some comments in the comment section below, as always, about any of the pots we've picked up. And are these any that you're after? What are you collecting? Let us know. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, as well as other nerdy stuff. Boom. Okay, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time. Take it easy. <laughs> Watch out for those creepers. <laughs> bye bye. Goodbye! Oh no, where's the portal gone? See if I can get it back up and running. Just try my trusty flint and steel. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Right. I want to get back into I want to get into that world with the, the Funko Pops. Oh, crap. That went wrong. Okay. Oh. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!